I was in London and I'd come out of a coffee shop and I was going down to get the bus. A man come around the corner and he just got himself right in front of me and right up to my face and he was being abusive to me. He then went behind me and he was shouting and being e extremely aggressive and I was very, very shaken up by what he was doing and I was very afraid at that point. It made me feel extremely exposed. It made me feel guilty for being who I am and that's something I can't change. A hate crime is one in which a suspect or defendant commits an offence and at the time of committing it demonstrates hostility because of someone's race, religion, transgender status, sexual orientation or disability or they're motivated to hostility as a result uh, of one of those protected characteristics. Ken Police work in partnership to deal with the very significant issue of hate crime. If you're a victim of hate crime, if you are somebody that's been subjected to hatred or anything that prejudices against you because of something that makes you different, we need to know about it because if you report it to us, we will work with our partners, we will work out what's the best thing to do, we'll talk to you about that to make sure you are satisfied with whatever we're doing. Hate crime can be a terrifying experience because you've been targeted just because of who you are. Nobody should have to suffer these crimes. It's only right that we work with our communities, continually engaging, so together we can support each other when people are victims of hate crime. The victims of verbal abuse may just accept it or think it's not important enough to report. We know that verbal abuse could be the start of an even more serious hate crime. There's a lot of support out there for victims now such as victim support services. We're commissioned by the Police and Crime Commissioner, Matthew Scott, to work with people who have been victims of all types of crime. The services that we offer are really tailored to meet the needs of the individual victim. It can be practical in nature, it can be emotional support as well. Some people do need longer term support if they feel that the incidence of crime has had a deeper impact on their life. We also have a hate crime advocate role to support victims to recover from their experience of victimization, but also to support them through the criminal justice system so that they get the kind of outcome that they want. Some of the things that we can do to make sure that you give the best evidence when you come to court uh, is to give what are called special measures to you through application to the court. And that can involve things such as asking the court to allow you to give your evidence from behind a screen, or perhaps to give your evidence by means of a live video link into the court. And we can ask, for example, for the public gallery to be cleared if a victim of crime feels that they are unable to give a proper account because there are lots of supporters of the defendant in court. So we would really ask you to make known any issues that you have to the police so that we can ask the court to give you those protections when you come to give your evidence. But what happens if the defendant is convicted of the hate crime? Well, Parliament has specifically provided in terms of sentencing of defendants convicted of hate crime that they can be made the subject of enhanced sentences. And that's the way of the courts and the way of uh, us as members of the public recognising that someone who is a victim of crime because of nothing else but their identity, that sentence imposed upon the defendant should be more serious. So if you're the victim of hate crime, to report matters to the police so that we as a prosecution service acting together with the police force can put those facts before the court to try and secure a conviction of those people who commit hate crimes.